in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed as a bird by wandering and as the swallow by flying uh -huh. so the curse causeless on the line causeless shall not come meaning if there is no cause for it it should not have come if you ever saw any limitation in your life there is a system of authorization because there is a law in the spirit that when a thing does not have a reason to come it does not come so the barrenness the failure everything has a reason a curse causeless cannot come if it ever came something authorized it there is the legal system of the kingdom redemption as we know was done on legal grounds Jesus did not just come the Bible says the soul that seen it it shall die is a law God himself had to submit to that law. Are we together? It says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. So the son of God did not just become a man and came to the world. No. The Bible says by one man, sin entered. So it could not take a spirit to save men. It had to be a man. Jesus had to be a man. I want you to see the legalities that the son of God went through. Are we together? Jesus had to be 30 years to start his ministry because in Jewish custom, if you were less than 30, you were not considered a man. So it wasn't about his spiritual life. He had to wait and go through it until he was 30. Jesus could just fall from the sky. Like Elijah, the people say, Elijah the Tishbite. But Jesus had to grow in a woman's womb and was born and cried and could die and grew from a young baby to a young child teenager adult and all of that he passed through it there is a legal system in the kingdom let me show you something isaiah 41 verse 20 and 21 the verse of emphasis is 21 isaiah 41 that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this and the Holy One of Israel has created it. Read 21 for me. One, two, read. Uh huh. This looks to me like a lawyer's language. This is the Lord speaking. Produce your cause, bring the legal terms, bring before me. So Abel said, I will produce my cause. And the blood went to heaven and said, God, have you not said whoever destroys man, whoever kills by the, lives by the sword shall die by the sword? I did not live by the sword and now somebody has slain me. My blood was cried and God came and said, Cain, your brother's blood is crying. And he said, am I my brother's keeper? I said, don't talk that nonsense. Blood is crying. The legal system of the kingdom. God, as kind as he is, is teaching us how to make him bless us. And he said, when you pray, ask me to give you this day our daily bread. Otherwise, you will never eat it. This is God. Son of man, say to these dry bones, I'm waiting for you. If you don't say it, it may never happen. I, the dry bones did not move at the word of God. It moved at the word of God through the mouth of a man. He says, say to this dry bone. The dry bone, ah, you are now talking. No. Bring forth your strong, how many reasons? Bring forth your strong reasons 
why you think you should be the first graduate in your family. Bring forth your strong reasons as to why you think that you should not fail in life. Look at me. You saw people went to school and the devil taught them like a lion. Bring forth your strong reason. Why you are the last born in your family and you believe that like Joseph, you are the one who will feed them. Bring forth your strong reason. I, when I saw this years ago, I said, my God, Shalakatokaya. Bring forth your strong reason. Don't just sit down and think it will happen. There is the legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. So let me teach you three steps now. Number one. You want to experience complete deliverance. Your first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. And all the demonic powers over your life. Or your family. Or your church. Or your destiny. Whatever it is. The first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. Break the legal hold. A curse causeless shall not stand. Barrenness causeless shall not come. Failure causeless shall not come. Delay causeless shall not come. If it is there, something is authorizing it. Your first assignment is to break the legal ground. This is where, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the powerful mystery of the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, my precious blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. Eternal saving blood. Listen. When you are about to face the gates of darkness as a final onslaught, there is no other weapon that you can carry. The first weapon for true victory is the mystery of the blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. Five scriptures very quickly. Matthew 26 verse 27 to 28. Matthew 26. Matthew 26, 27 to 28. And he took the cup and gave thanks. And he gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. 28. For this is my blood of the New Testament. The blood is done, is what? Is shed for many. Why? For the remission. Remission. So a system has been initiated in the spirit. Remission. The word remission means to blot out. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. Ephesians 1 verse 7. Then we'll look at Colossians 1 14. Read with me please. 1, 2, read. In whom we have redemption. How? So how does redemption happen? Please talk to me. Redemption. Redemption through the blood, the forgiveness of sins. It didn't say the forgiveness of your sins. It doesn't matter whether it's your sins. Our fathers have sinned. There is a system. I used to think he said forgiveness of your sin. No. There is a mystery of atonement. Notice. For those of you who cast out demons, sometimes you see those, they just shout and talk, I won't go out. No, 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 no. The blood for the forgive, whatever ill to sin means to miss the mark. Whatever happened around my life, whatever happened around my lineage that authorized darkness, there is a system of atonement. According to the riches of his grace. 1 verse 14, Colossians. Colossians 1 verse 14. Once again. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Even the what? I hope you know there is a law in the spirit. 
that when you see the travail in the soul of your offender, your heart will be appeased. Look at this. Come, Sheol. If Sheol steals my handkerchief and they catch him, my satisfaction is in his punishment. Is that true? As they punish him, I now feel appeased. If they don't punish him, I feel bad. So the Bible says he shall see the travail of his soul. Who is the he? Not Jesus. Man in Christ. Because it was at the point of exchange. We offended the father. And according to this law, there is a requisite level of punishment that must have peace the heart of the offender. And Jesus said, instead of you and your father, let me stand in for you. So while they beat him and blood came out, the father watched, took his face away. And then the Bible tells us that he was seeing the travail. That means the yoke and the ordinances that they did. Remember, they murdered missionaries in your village. And ordinarily, until these things happen and they kill everybody based on that because their blood cries. But then God in heaven will see those who offended the grandfathers that made the cause to come upon the family in Christ. The travail. And the father says, that's enough. I set you free. It is finished. Redemption through his blood. Even. So there is a kind of redemption called the forgiveness of sins. That your wrongs, your sins... If sins are forgiven, then the consequences they bring are also forgiven. And the authorizations they give is also forgiven. Are we together? Revelation chapter 5. Just follow me closely. Jesus grant us grace tonight. We have to be fast. Revelations 5, 9 and 10. Quickly please. Revelations 5, 9 and 10. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book. And open the seals thereof. Uh -huh. For thou was slain. And has redeemed us unto God. How? By your blood. Out of every kindred. And every tongue. And every. And every. These are the four realms where causes exist. Look at this. Please go back to verse 9. Out of every kindred, every tongue, every people, every nation, everything was covered. We were redeemed by his blood. I hope you know that God ensured that Satan participated in the death of Jesus. That was the only way that the blood of Jesus could haunt him. When Cain killed Abel. Who did Abel's blood hunt? So whoever killed Jesus is the person who the blood of Jesus should hunt. Had they known this, they would not have crucified. Who are the day? Satan alongside the principalities and powers. Satan, God made sure in his wisdom that they all participated in the death of the son of the living God. And then verse 10, he says, he has made us a kingdom of priests unto our God. That we reign on earth. The last scripture. Revelation chapter 12. And verse 10 to 11. Popular scripture. Hmm. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying. Now is come salvation. And the kingdom of our God. And the power of his Christ. For the accuser. Of the. Not the heathen, the accuser of the brethren is cast down, which accuse them before our God day and night. Next verse. And they, he had been cast down, but to appropriate the benefit of what has happened, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. They overcame him. They overcame him. They overcame him. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Listen. Listen. 
the moment the mercy of God steps in, I've told you this. The moment the mercy of God steps in over an issue, my brother, my sister, listen to me. You know that card they call end of discussion. It truly is end of discussion in the spirit. The moment the blood factor comes in, notice that when the blood was put on the lintel of the people, it had nothing to do with their personal belief in God's deliverance. The moment the angel of death saw blood, even if it was Pharaoh, if Pharaoh's son entered one of those rooms where there was blood, he wouldn't have died. Even if he was cursing God from the room. The same stiff-necked people that cursed God later on were in that room. But because there was a covering of the blood. So every time we engage the blood, many believers don't know how to engage the blood. To engage the blood is not just to shout, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood alone. Are we together? It looks like it's drizzling or rain or so. Please, if it is, just let the people find a way of stationing them around. We're, we're about to pray, so we'll find a way of making it happen. Are we together now? Everybody say the blood. So the first mystery that brings deliverance is the blood. When I had this revelation, I began to pray. And let me tell you, that was when I found the mystery of Psalm 51. They gave you that scripture. Psalm 51 was something that I forgot about that scripture many years. It was this year that God reminded me again. Psalm 51. Please give it to us. Our time is gone. Let's see how we can do justice. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression too. Let's just run it. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Three, for I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Four, against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight. Listen, let me tell you. You can carry your family and in covenant stand as you make. This is not just about one man. It can be one business. It can be one family. It can be one church. Many believers will not believe this. That thou mightest be justified when thou speakest. And be clear when, when thou judgest. Verse 5. You can read it down, down, down. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. And you read this scripture and cry the mercy of God. Listen to me. Nineveh was a land that was so depraved. When God sent Jonah, Jonah said, God, I'm not going. He said, I know you. I know you. I want to allow this thing remain so that you will be angry and curse these people. I know that if I talk to them, you are merciful. They will now repent and you will act as if they didn't do anything that warranted punishment. And he ran away. He ran away for a justifiable reason. There was something about God that he knew. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. The Bible says he is slow to anger. So if my father or my mother went to sacrifice a baby and drain the blood to send me to school, and now there is a spirit that stands on legal ground, I can stand before God and knock on the door of mercy and say, Lord, I know that the soul that sins, it shall die. But do men die twice? Is it not appointed one for man to die? And after that, the judgment. And Lord, your son has died. And what judgment? No one condemns you if you are in Christ. And you stand on that legal ground. And God says, done. Done. It may have been 30 years, but done. Lord, I went to a herbalist myself because I was looking for a wife or husband. Lord, I went by myself. I wanted to pass exams. I went to Zaria City. I went and did this and that. Lord, I know that I did all of this. And you stand before him. And then the blood speaks. Every time the father sees the blood, Satan sees judgment. Every time you point the blood, to plead the blood does not mean to coerce it like a charm. To plead the blood means to bring to remembrance. It's not just saying, I plead the blood. To plead the blood is a revelation. 
bring to the father's remembrance the substitutionary work of Christ and that the blood, the sinless blood of his eternal son that was given in exchange for my deliverance. Mm. That's the first thing I did. And that's the first thing anyone must do. If all you keep doing is in the name of Jesus, I'm free, you're in trouble. Pleading the blood entails a broken and a contrite heart. You see, let me tell you, there is a level of repentance that brings the hand of God to a man. It's not this arrogant, I plead the blood, Lord, just get up and break 250 years yoke of killing people in my, in my village in the name of Jesus. After all, you died. No. A broken, there is an attitude that makes the blood effectual. Are we together? The fact that the Bible says we should come boldly does not mean it says we should come arrogantly. Lord, I stand before you and I know that on my own I will never be able to make it. I watch my mother cheat people. I watch my father cheat people. I watch my siblings cheat people. Somebody lost a job because of his wickedness. It is true that as a family we deserve this. But Lord, I stand on behalf of my family, if my people, which are called by my name, although they are called by my name, it is not automatic. They must humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. And I said, Lord, it's a deal. And I cried. I would never forget that night. Lord, let your grace and your mercy speak for me. My grandfather served you until he died. Even on his deathbed, he died for Jesus. In your anger, remember mercy. Lord, if you leave me the way I am, I will never make it in life. Lord, can the dead praise you? Let me show you how people touch the heart of God. Lord, if you take my life now and you allow witchcraft kill me like it killed everybody in my family, can the dead praise you? Lord, if I give birth to children out of witchcraft, you are presenting your strong reasons. Lord, is it not you that has said you are a merciful God? I stand before you without argument. And God arises from heaven. Many believers do not know how to touch the mercy of God. It was the psalmist that would write everything he did on behalf of Israel and say they should make a poem out of it. Let us with a glad soul mind praise the Lord. He said, for his mercies endure. He's ever faithful, he's ever sure. He will even say, Sila, think about it. I didn't go to God with a bold face as a man of God to say, God, let me tell you something. My grandfather was a pastor. I love you. I, I, I don't drink beer. I stand before you in my self-righteousness. Is that pride that kills people? Someone must go down on his knees and say, Lord, a cause causeless shall not stand. There is a reason why we are failing in this family. There is a reason why doors are not opening in this family. And Lord, I stand before you. Who else will I run to, oh God? Will you let men see be like the saints of old? They knew how to talk to God. Lord, will the living, will the dead praise you? If you pay me, if you do this, do you want them to say you brought people out of Egypt but could not take them to the promised land? And the Bible will say, God repented. Have you heard that? He said, Come, let us reason together. That tonight someone can say, God. Will the unrighteous and the righteous receive the same reward? What then is the value of your blood? And you would think you are joking and God is listening to you. Lord, is it a crime that I came from the north? Must I fail the failure? Is it a crime that I'm an Igbo man? Must I fail that failure? Is it a crime? I came from a Muslim background. Now I'm born again. It is true that I went to all kinds of Alpha and the rest. But Lord, will I receive the recompense of sinners? Bring before him your strong reason. And cry for his mercy. I did that. You appropriate 
the mercy of God in your life. Number two. In complete deliverance, you cannot downplay the power of words. Write it down. The power of words. Your words are a vital tool in establishing the victory of Christ over your life and situation. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 37. Please, let's hurry up. I already sense fire burning in this place. We'll do this thing very fast and we'll pray. Matthew chapter 12, verse 37. Jesus said unto him, Matthew 20, chapter 12, 12 verse 37. Matthew 12, verse 37. For by thy words, thou shalt be justified. I will tell you what words. It's not any words. And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. You know what the words are? Let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Let those who have become benefactors of his blood make that announcement in the realm of the spirit that Satan, you heard my conversation with the king of glory and it is unto him I have sinned and he has decided to show me mercy. Therefore, I decree and declare that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare that I'm free from all of these chains. The Bible says, declare ye. It looks simple. We make declarations without appropriating the blood and the mercy of God. When it has to do with deliverance, the blood opens the door. And then your words, you sound that word to principalities and powers. Words. There's a reason why there was an echo. It is finished. Jesus didn't have to say it. He said it for a reason. And the curtain of the temple was torn from top to bottom. There is a new and living way that we can step in. I remember the Lord asking me to speak and say, son, begin to speak and denounce yourself from every walk of darkness and I began to pray I've obtained mercy I blot myself out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against me in the name of the Lord Jesus I obtained forgiveness I've been called out of every tongue I thought it was a joke until my life began to change in a remarkable way words are powerful for with the heart you believe and if you believe the blood speaks for you, then with the mouth, confession will be made. You don't keep quiet. The redeemed of the Lord speak. The righteousness that is of faith speaks. And then number three, complete deliverance. The ministry of the anointing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The anointing. Luke chapter 4, 17 to 21. Let's look at how Jesus announced his deliverance ministry, the messianic prophecy. And there was delivered to him the book of prophet Isaiah. And when he opened the book, he found the place where it was written, 18. Please, let's hurry up. The spirit of the Lord. He's about to deliver now. And he's showing us. So before anything. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he had helped me. Anointed me. To preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to preach the. the to heal the broken hearted. He had anointed me to preach deliverance to the captives. He has anointed me. To recover sight to the blind. He had anointed me to set at liberty them that are bruised. 19. He had anointed me to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. 20. We are reading to 21. And he closed the book. And he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. 21. And he began to say unto them this day when talk to me this day say this day that means from today 
Don't be surprised when you see people free. It's what he was telling them. He said, I just read it. Meaning if you see demons flying, it's because an anointing is upon me. And today, that ministry starts. This is what Jesus was telling them. He opened the book and showed them. He said, I'm showing you from the book. So you are not surprised when you see a woman bound for 18 years, all of a sudden free. This day, I have come as a fulfillment of that scripture. Today, somebody's this day. Because the book has been opened, it is this day. The day the book is opened, that's your this day. The spirit of the Lord. Because he had anointed me. Anointed me. Isaiah 10, 27. Isaiah 10, 27. This day. This day. This day. And it shall come to pass. When? Notice that everything happens in a day. It shall come to pass in that day. What day? The day your faith chooses. That day, the Bible says, if you, if you hear his voice this day, there remaineth a rest for the people of God. That his burden shall be taken away. Somebody will come and carry it away. That means it never will belong to you again. Notice two things that will be taken. A burden and a yoke. And the Bible says, and his yoke from off thy neck. It says, and the yoke. The yoke shall be destroyed. Not because you are tired of it. Because of the anointing. There is an exact anointing that breaks yoke it didn't say because of an anointing there is a particular anointing now let me tell you this not every anointed man can deliver you this is what i want you to get there is the anointing an exact kind of anointing just because a man of god prayed for you i'm telling you this believe me there is an anointing specifically ordained by God the same way there is an anointing that prospers the same way there is an anointing that heals there is a dimension of the anointing that is allocated for detonating yokes like a bomb that is supposed to scatter somebody that was put by a wicked man somewhere and you come and do something to it and then it becomes like toy like a piece of paper. How do you know you are delivered? Strange results. Instant results. Instant open doors. Let me tell you. Deliverance is one of the things that happen instantly. My life changed like day and night. If I did ministry without this encounter, I would have been in for a rude shock. I found it that there was a burden on my neck there was a yoke a burden on my shoulder and a yoke from my neck I remember going to my village and passing around and seeing well-meaning people poor people I saw how hard-working my father was very honest man one of the most honest people I know in my life Yet doors refuse to open. This man will rise up like this and crash as if God does not exist. They were the ones who trained us in the way of the Lord. I never saw my father carry one bottle of alcohol. Not once. My mother served God. She was so innocent. She didn't know anything about witchcraft. It was Nigerian film that made my mother know that there was something like witchcraft. She was that innocent. Yet nothing changed. But when I engage the blood and I made decrees and this anointing fell from heaven. Are we together now? You see why I said they should keep these bottles here? It's not just because of a ritual. Let me tell you. Except God did not send me. 
when this oil touches your head many of you will step into instant visions instant visions listen you will you will see things all of a sudden you will start seeing things that had happened before and god will tell you this is where it started the same way you go to bed hold it for me remember while you were doing your prayers some of you kept seeing yourself you were seeing where your problem started from secondary school going back seeing a lot of things look at the attack that happened some of you all through while you prayed you never saw anything good night after night because satan is a master of the flesh realm i told you to just continue and don't mind him the yoke shall be destroyed i remember that anointing oil when i bought it that night i left it open in the presence of god i played benihin worship from night from from morning till night soaking everything through my rechargeable and when i did that thing i was shaking like a leaf i knew there was like a physical mist in my room and all of a sudden i carried that oil when that oil touched my head that was it. I didn't even know where I was again. Alone in that room. I woke up many hours with strange visions. From that encounter, the revelations of ministry, I started writing like a madman. All of a sudden, doors. See, let me tell you. Do you know that everything that you have prayed for was answered but hijacked? By the time this door is open, it's an avalanche. Things would... Look, let me tell you the truth. I'm not joking. You will see people within a short time. A lady that nobody has a business of saying, I want to marry you. The Bible says that how many people will come to you. I know it was speaking about men. But all of a sudden, a brother that was ordained to be your husband. But these wicked spirits will blind and make sure that they don't see you. By the time this yoke is taken. That brother goes to bed this night and God says, what are you waiting for? Your wife has been before you for 10 years. The helper of your destiny, standing and watching you like this. But there had been a decree, never help him. And you find out, you will bring a friend, two of you will come to plead for assistance. They will help the friend and leave you. There are some of you here, with the kind of anointing God gave you, you should never be small. But you are even wondering why. I never call for people to come and they come. Something drives them. It was Bishop Oyedeko who was saying when Living Faith Church started, as anointed as he was and he is, their heavens were closed and they were fasting and praying. And the Spirit of the Lord told him, come out. And he came out and he looked. And according to him, he said he saw something that looked like a dark, a thick layer of dark cloud. And the Lord told him, This is the blindfolding layer that the devil put in the eyes of people to misrepresent what you are doing. And then he told him to command it. And he declared that a light shines in darkness, and the darkness cannot comprehend it. And he said the, the, the thing just folded like that. And he produced a poster with testimonies and wrote, Come and see. That was it. Living faith took another dimension till tomorrow. When I caught this revelation, that was when I saw that publicity was spiritual. At the point I said it, people thought it was a joke. I don't mean to brag. I'm not saying posters are wrong. You go around this city, you are not going to find one poster. But we will shift a meeting just by a simple announcement. Shift it and people will come. You try that and tell people shift it and people say, ah, that's it, I found a reason. There is an anointing. When the yoke breaker comes and sits and his weight rests upon your life, I'm telling you, anything that is not him must give way. Are you ready to pray now? Rise up on your feet. Oh, oh.
Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please pray. In the name of Jesus. I declare that tonight is my night. I declare that everything that Jesus Christ did for me on the cross, it must be appropriated in my life tonight. Therefore, I declare that every yoke, every spell, every curse, every ordinance speaking against me and against my loved ones, tonight I command that you are leaving me. Open your mouth and pray. Shabarakatos, 
God will not only take away that destiny, their life will pay for it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please cover them strategically. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Everyone under the sound of my voice, Lord, as they come under the influence of this oil, I decree and declare that let the fire from heaven not only fall upon their life, but turn every situation that must be changed around. In the name of Jesus, for those online, I pray for the various oils you are carrying. In the name of Jesus, as you anoint yourself and your loved ones, let the embargo of darkness, no matter how long it has been, let it break now and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please, let's have people, let's have them come quickly, quickly. You can start coming. Um, just coordinate them. I, I honestly don't know how we're going to do it, but we'll have to find a way. Yes, you can find a way of, even if it's for you to come and we can start from here and then you come and go or do whatever it is. Please, very, very quickly. Make sure you are praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, listen. Listen. I want you to pair yourselves into two very quickly. Just find someone. Find a neighbor somewhere. In the next, our time is gone, but in the next three minutes, all I want you to do holding the hands of that person is to just bless in the spirit. Just pray in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Go Jesus, I declare in this season, may the glory of the Lord that is upon my head begin to speak now. Open your mouth and pray. Thou, O oh Lord, are a shield. You are my glory. You are the lifter, the lifter. A man's head can be lifted. Shekete kato parakatos, shabarato kasada bekata. I declare the glory of the Lord upon my head be lifted. Pray. 
Hallelujah. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Say in the name of Jesus. Every chain holding my life, tying my destiny. Say it again. Every chain holding my life, tying my destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be broken now. Lift your voice and pray. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain. Alakato Shabakata. Rakata Satekato Sekete. Rekete Kete Nekete Kete Bush. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. I speak to the forces of creation. Hear my voice. Align yourself and cause the word of God to walk in my life. Lift your voice and pray. We speak to the elements of creation and the stars fought for the border and the stars fought for the border and the sun and the moon fought for Joshua and the earth fought for the woman we command the elements of creation align yourself Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. Say it again. Oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. It is out of you that trees grow. Therefore, I declare, according to the law of seed time and harvest, let my harvest locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray. Shabadagatos, ketabrakatos, eketa. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. He said, I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and leadeth thee in the way that you should go. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus, I declare that these hands that are stretched towards me right now become the hands of fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please put your hand on your belly. Just put that hand there. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Put your hands there. The Bible says, for out of your belly shall flow rivers. Say in the name of Jesus. Every treasure within me, as I lay my hands, I declare, come out now. Lift your voice and pray. Every treasure. Shaka to go to break it, take it, take it, and the last son of Prataz Cavaracos, Shashia Catavaraca to Soto Pregit. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
we are going to round up. Don't mind all the prophetic acts you are doing. I want you to just trust my leadership in helping you get results. Are we together? Are we together? I'd like you to stand where you are and say in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to the north. Say it, I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. Everywhere my help has been ordained to come from. In the name of Jesus, I call you. Locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. It comes from God, but it passes through men. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Just place your hand again on your head. Now, you are finished praying. Let me pray now. Any spirit that comes with ancestry, any spirit, hear my voice. You are a product of ancestry, sent and programmed for the, from the fathers to oppress the people of God. Right now, by fire, I declare by fire, I declare by fire, release their glory now. I declare by fire, so back at post katarikato, embrace every legal ground. I break it now in the name of Jesus Christ. spirits of delay that sit upon people's destinies so they don't move forward right now in the name of Jesus may the power of the Holy Ghost through this oil you have made contact with command those devils to live now the spirits of barrenness not just biological barrenness that makes that nothing works in your life you study you go and write exams you fail you get money you do business you fail you get a job they fire you in the name of jesus i command by the power of the holy spirit may that devil live your life now and forever Ladies, I'm praying for you now. There is a spirit that draws only married men or wicked, ungodly men to certain sisters. They don't know why. No responsible person comes to you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is in this category, I command that devil, come out of them now. Come out of them now. Come out of them now. Any spirit husband, any spirit wife, any demonic entity manipulating you in the night, coming to oppress you, in the name of Jesus, I declare now, be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. There's anyone here, I say it again. You always have dreams. Seeing yourself in your former house. Seeing yourself in your secondary school. Seeing yourself repeating something you have already done. Shakos kapakatosha. Embreketas katabarakatosha. 
Right now, I shift you. Speed to your life. I cause the spirit of delay. Speed to your life. I cause the spirit of delay. Speed to your life. I'm praying for people here. Every year, or every two, two years, or every three, three years, the same pattern repeats in your family. Either someone dies, or someone loses their job, or something happens. Right now, the yoke that creates patterns, I stand in the name of Jesus, and I break it from your life. I break it from your life. By the blood of Jesus, I break it from your life. The moment something good is about to enter your hand, you go to bed and you have a dream. Something strange happens and you lose that thing. It must find a way of leaving you. I pray for you now. In the name of Jesus, everything that makes sure that you see things but never handle them, I cast that spirit from your life now. I cast that spirit from your life now. I cast that spirit from your life now. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you now. Whatever pattern you saw in your parents, and you are seeing it now in your life. It could be poverty. It could be hardship. It could be failure. Jesus declared that it is finished. By the blood of the eternal covenant, he declared that it is finished. Therefore, I stand right now. I separate you from any pattern in your life that is tied to your lineage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray for students. The moment you enter the exam hall, something happens to you that you cannot explain. I pray for you. May the fire of the Spirit separate you from failure forever. Separate you from failure forever. Separate you from failure forever. with me you will thank me for this prayer I'm praying this is what I did for myself we're rounding up listen there are people here it's not delay that you face but what can be done in two weeks, it will take you almost one year. So it's like you are crawling to achieve things in life. Right now in the name of Jesus, the spirit responsible for that wickedness, I command it to live your life now. Hallelujah. There are people here, you have never had one month in good health. It's a pattern you saw. You can treat malaria non-stop for three years. You can treat headache non-stop for four years. You can treat all kinds of infirmity. That one is no longer sickness. Pay attention, I'm praying for you. It's a pattern. You saw your father live on drugs forever. Your mother live on drugs forever. Now it's happening to you. Right now in the name of Jesus. May the power of God set you free from that pattern now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray. Please, just be patient with me. There are many other things we would not do. Once I'm done, my conscience, I won't be able to sleep tonight if I don't finish what I'm doing to you. 
now whether you believe in the prayer put put down your hands whether you believe in the prayer i'm about to pray or not just be patient with me are we together this is an intense deliverance session just pay attention as you grow in the spirit i pray that one day you will understand there's no time to explain everything to you but i want you to just listen to me and watch what the holy spirit does there are three that bear witness in the earth the spirit the water and the blood these are the same three elements of covenants the spirit the water and the blood i'm praying now if there is anyone connected by witchcraft spirit entities dedicated to your life and you were attached with them knowingly or unknowingly he is called the father of spirits therefore i decree and declare every spirit connected to you lose them right now and let them go lose them right now and let them go I'm still praying for you. Listen to my prayer. The water is a very strange mystery. Every water on earth is older than every man. It's the same water the same drank that we still drink. There is no water that comes from anywhere. It's a cycle that repeats itself. And the Bible says this thing you see is a witness. Is a witness. Therefore, I declare in the name of Jesus, there are spirits that operate in this domain. And let me tell you something. Truth be told, this is only false when it is relative to the power of God. The strongest operation in the demonic kingdom are marine spirits. Listen to me very carefully. Many ignorant people have no idea of what I'm saying. 80%, 8 out of every 10 people are tied by this mystery of the spirits that operate in water when the spirits that were casted out of the man in Gadara left they were they drove the swine right into water in the name of Jesus I pray just lift your hands and be silent and let me pray especially for those of you that live around river Rhine areas after today don't worry you can believe anything you want to believe but right now i stand shakoto sataka rekete kato shabariata i declare every marine power holding down anyone's destiny in the name that is above all names in this night of deliverance by the fire of the holy spirit let them go now any dedications that have to do with marine powers I release you from it now 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 very strong spirits they can tie a man's life tie a man's destiny forever they can keep a woman barren for eternity are we together we're rounding up if there is anyone here who has been dedicated to any idol you know that you saw things happen in your family they brought one man or woman of god somewhere or one herbalist and tied your destiny to objects made incisions in your body gave you things to eat and drink 
in the name of protection I command that covenant and I declare that it is null and void in the name of Jesus it is null and void in the name of Jesus it is null and void in the name of Jesus drop your hands brothers please lift your hands When a man does not find his destiny early, when a man does not get established early, he said it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth. There are many men, I, I need to pray for you. You don't know the mystery behind your life moving, but you are not moving. You love God, but nothing works. You are celebrating birthday after birthday birthday after birthday you are 40 years still in your father's house every time you want to move out of your parents house something happens and ties you down there are even people who are married but are forced to still live with their parents the bible says, therefore shall a man leave his father and leave his mother this is a very serious prayer i'm declaring right now every gentleman here the powers that held your father down that he could not do much in his lifetime that has helped people within your locality territorially geographically in the name of jesus every gentleman here i release you go and prosper i release you go and prosper i release you go and prosper And in case your father or your mother or anybody cursed you and they are now dead I stand here by this office in the name of Jesus I reverse that curse over your life now maybe as a result of your past you did something for your loved ones and in anger they made a pronouncement don't say it doesn't matter I stand in the name of Jesus by the ministry of God's mercy and grace I speak over your life for every cause that has been pronounced upon your life I release the blessing of the Lord 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 speak over everyone's finances here in the name that is above all names see let me tell you this if you lack financial resources your life will never move forward no matter how well meaning you are it takes financial resources to do ministry to do business to take care of these are little children here you see there are many things it takes finances to take care of your parents it takes finances to get a blessing from them you will need to do something. They will not just bless you like that. He said, make me venison that my heart will rejoice that I will speak a blessing over you. I decree and declare whatever has closed the doors. And don't think just because you are getting a salary or you are getting something, you will not receive the prayer. Expand your capacity. I pray for you. Whatever has closed the door of financial resources to make sure you perpetually beg I cast that spirit from your life forever. I cast that spirit from your life forever. Let me pray the last prayer. You love God, but every time you are at a height spiritually, something just happens to you in a way you don't know. It may be a dream. It may be something and the next thing you open your bible you don't even know where to read again you just close it you go to pray and you stand in jesus name two minutes you are not sleepy and you are not busy but once you can sit down on your phone and before you know it three hours has gone but you get up to pray i will pray later on eight o'clock i will pray it's a spirit attacking your destiny because you only prosper as your soul prospers therefore fire upon your altar receive it now 
fire upon your altar, receive it now. Fire upon your altar, receive it now. Fire upon your altar, receive it now. I'm praying. There are spirits that manipulate your vision and manipulate your dreams. It's supposed to be an avenue that God will show you things. But of late you found out that everything you have seen and told people got you in trouble is a sign that something has been hijacked. There is a gift. There is an anointing right now. I purify the workings of the spirit in your life. Let the spirit of error leave your spiritual experience now. Receive grace to see correctly. Receive grace to hear accurately. Finally, every family that is represented here, whether they are born again or not, the fact that you are here standing, representing them, in the name of Jesus, tonight, we pronounce judgment. Hear me? Upon every man, woman, altar, and every yoke programmed against your family, they perish tonight. Every shrine, every harpalist, every priest, they perish tonight. Father, we give you the praise. Declare in one minute, I am free. Wave your hands and give Jesus thanks. It's finished. Finally. Finally. I can arise again. Listen. When I did what I just led you to, I remember I went that night and I slept. And I began to see strange things. My destiny just opened up from page to page. New levels of the anointing came. New levels of fire. Let me tell you. I want you to sit tight. And watch the excellency of light over darkness in the days that follow. This deliverance session will make you respect God in a way you have never done. Believe me when I tell you this. You watch out for the testimonies. You will see open. I'm not talking of testimonies. Tea came, bread came. Testimonies that in one day, the rewards of one year can come to a man. Because the yoke has been broken. Jesus, we give you the praise. And Father, we declare tonight, your people have paid the price to stay this late. To see to it that the doors of their destiny is open. Father, I stretch my hands as your priest. And I seal this deliverance session in the name of Jesus. Hear me. What you have been delivered from now. You will never be delivered from it again. The door that has been opened for you now. You will never pray for this door to be opened again. The chain that has been broken over your life, you will never have to pray for that chain to be broken again. The grace to enjoy the full benefit experientially of the victory of Christ in your life, I release that grace now. In the name of Jesus. Please give Jesus a hand clap. Amen.
Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Our time is gone. This is your first time worshiping with us here at Koinonia. Hold on, please. If this is your first time, I know that our time is gone. Thank you so much for your cooperation. I don't want to end this service without acknowledging you. What a time in his presence. Wherever you are, aside from those at Overflow 3, please, I'd like you to make your way right inside here. Just stand before me and let me speak a blessing over your life. God bless you. Let's honor them as they come out. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, is this how you honor people? Hallelujah. By the way, let me challenge you. I like you when you go back tonight, no matter how late, receive grace from God to seal your prayer with prophetic pronouncements. I started over you, but you can take, even if it's 10 minutes or 15 minutes, just seal this prayer with prophetic announcements and call into your life everything you want to see. God bless you. Please let them all come. Let's appreciate them as they come. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I, I love and appreciate and honor every single one of you. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. And I'm honored to have you around. Thank you for the sacrifice of coming around to round off our deliverance series with us. It's been a special series on deliverance. And we're trusting God for a great time. We want to pray for you. I want you to stretch your hands over them, saints of God. Not you. The people of God are praying for you. Let's stretch our hands towards them and bless them. Koinonia, bless them from your heart. You are anointed. We decree and declare over your life. Every challenge that stands before you, even as we have prayed, it will surprise you the way things will change and turn around. I declare that every anointing and every grace that must step into your life in this season, I declare that that anointing comes upon you in the name of Jesus. For those of you in ministry, fresh anointing, you step into a new dimension of results in the name of Jesus. For those of you who came because you are trusting God for one thing or the other, I release the grace of God upon you and I command you to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Now, I know that it's raining outside. I don't know if there is no place to manage them. We can just find a system. Just follow this lady waving her hands. The lady waving her hands very quickly. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.